So this is Nigel Olson. I'm in the office with Sylvia Sprinkle Hamlin as she pops a piece of candy in her mouth. She is it's the chocolate. chocolate, she says. Uh, she is the executive producer of the National Black Theater Festival. This is the 15th Biennial Festival coming up July 31st through August 5th. So Sylvia, tell me why you're excited this year and what do we have in store for all of our patrons coming in town? I am so excited because we have some excellent shows. We have excellent workshops. We, you know, we have a film fest. It has grown. Uh, I'm excited about the programs we have for youth. It's going to be a family affair. And I'm excited about the people who are coming. And I'm excited about ticket sales. Ticket sales are going really well. So we have a new ticketing system. Uh, we have a redesigned website, uh, which if you haven't visited yet, visit www.nbtf.org and check it out. So are there any new additions this year or particular things you will point out to people that they ought to participate in or uh, enjoy? Well, you know, we're going to have a preliminary, a preview of the National Black Theatre Hall of Fame and Museum, which I think people would enjoy. Uh, we're having a health initiative day, which is needed, and uh, we're having celebrity receptions, um, networking opportunities for young actors who's, who are looking for jobs. We just have everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that uh, we have attempted to do, which is really impossible to do, there are 40 companies, I believe, uh, 35 right. and 5 on the fringe, which are colleges, uh, A&T State University, UNC School of Arts, uh, Norfolk State University, Louisville University, and one from Nigeria. Right. We have more than, I'm going to say, 135, 140 performances. 148 to be exact. 148. We're in 12 locations and 21 venues, so it's all over the city the of place. Wisconsin. So how would you describe the type of performances? I know it goes from comedy to musicals, etc. We have dramas, dramas. We have musicals. We have uh, one-person shows. We have uh, comedies. I, I, we have a lot of comedy this year. So we have something for everyone, actually. So if you don't like dramas, we have musicals. If you want to just relax and don't think about the cares of the world, we have the comedies. If you really want to think about some of the happenings, what's going on in the world, we have some plays that address those issues also. So as we say, we're saving the saint just for you, and we have something for everyone. So you and I and Lawrence Evans have... Uh we attempted. Lawrence, I think, was the only one who actually did it. And that was a top 10. And there really is a top 40. This right, is a top 10. Right, so there's right. so many things depending on your interests and what you have a like for. But we, uh, you had a top 14, and I think I had a top 14. Actually, have I have a top 40. Yeah, a top 40. I like all of the shows. Yeah. So I just picked 14. Next week, I'm going to pick 15 more. So there will be multiple top 10 list covering yeah. all 40 shows at some yeah. point in time yeah. so we look forward to you coming out what else would you like to say to those who are taking a look at this about why they should be out supporting black theater during the festival well um it's a celebration and reunion of spirit uh we have something for everyone it's not only about fun it's about education and it's about fellowship and it's about coming together and mm -hmm. having a great time. Mm -hmm. And you've been doing this for how long now? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Since 1989. 1989. Yeah, I've, I, you know, I've <laughs> progressed. I started off in 1981, 1989. I think I worked with the volunteers. I wasn't a volunteer coordinator. I was just help, helping with the volunteers. Mm -hmm. And then in 1991, Joyce Elam, the late Joyce Elam, and I became the volunteer coordinators, and now I'm the executive producer. Okay. So I've moved up in the ranks. <laughs> and so you've seen a lot of things. Uh, one of the things that I'm learning uh, now being on the inside is how much actually goes on. Yeah. So what is it that people don't see that well, helps for, them to have a great experience when they come Yeah, in? number one, we have uh, a large staff. We have about almost 10 people in ticket sales. Then we have consultants. We have about seven or eight consultants who specialize in, in, in different areas of the festival. We have board members working. We have over a thousand volunteers. So it's, it's just take a lot to 
put the festival on, and it's a lot of hard work, but we love it. So, in addition to paying for performances, and we also have things for youth, could you say a little bit about the youth focus, and in addition to that, some of the free activities that we have? Okay, all our workshops and film are free. Reader's Theater is free. Uh, we have Youth Celebrity Project. Uh, that Those activities are for youth, I think, between the ages of 5 and 12. Most of those activities are free. We have Team Tastic. They have their own mini festival that starts on Thursday evening. And uh, all of those activities are free. So we have a lot of free stuff. Right. So we want families to come, bring your children, bring your teens. We have something for everyone. So put on your purple and black. The festival is back. Sylvia Sprinkle Hammond. Although I don't have on purple and black today. Executive producer in her African garb today, not okay. purple and black. Okay. We look forward to you coming out. Uh, Pre-festival activity, Sinbad on July 30th. Celebrity reception, July 31st, hosted by Winston-Salem State University. Gala, July 31st, Monday night. And Tuesday through Saturday, August 1st through the 5th, are all the performances. So come out and join us. We look forward to it. Thank you, Sylvia. Mm-hmm.